all about control. You want to just hit the same thing over every time. Usually, we get soccer players get good at this, just trying to hit it a certain distance. So I'm gonna hit the crossbar. Well, not when she's in the way. Oh, and I hit it too hard. <laughs> I like that ball better. You get that? Yeah. Here with former U.S. national team captain Eric Winalda. Kicking field goals, penalty kicks, and free kicks as well. It's a little bit different experience out there, isn't it? Definitely. I, uh, kicking a football is, is very different. A lot of people don't realize that. But for me, I get lucky because I was a free kick specialist. So the way I hit a free kick is essentially how I hit a, a football. And I, have, I actually get the uh, consistency. But it's, it's not the, the normal flight that maybe a football coach would want or you'd see in a, in a football game because those guys want to hit it 60 yards every time right down the middle. Um, so it probably frustrates some coaches. But uh, for me, I, I just hook it. So it, 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 it's, uh, it's not a hit or miss thing. It really is just kind of what I did as a soccer player. In soccer, you'd call it the run-up. Uh, Joe Houston, the USC kicker, would take three steps back and two to the left. You'd just kind of start from one point and kick field goals from there. Why? Well, if that's... I think the way they're coached, and I think that's because of the snap and the hold and the timing of, it, of everything, but uh, the natural process for me is to just back up, get a good feel of what I see, the visual, because that's what I'm used to as a soccer player. Because I mean, you got to understand, soccer players are, are asked to hit a stop sign from 40 yards away, not this huge, you know, two trees put it down the middle. So um, my thinking is to always pick one little target. I'm trying to actually hit something probably the size of your head, not the size of your garage. If a professional field goal kicker or a professional footballer um, are practicing field goals and penalty kicks respectively, you pretty much can hit the target you want every time, but it's that added element of pressure, isn't right. it, where, where, where the misses come in? Well, Joe and I were talking about that, and I think, uh, to me, all the noise is kind of necessary. You know, if the, the, it's kind of like a golf shot. If, if, if nobody's talking, I'll probably overthink it and miss, but when you when you got the people and the energy and the adrenaline, that's usually something that's a good thing for me. Some people don't handle that very well. Um, they get in that moment and they can't remember what they're good at and they, they stray away from that. But then again, trust me, believe me, football kicking is, is, is very hard because there's other people involved, there's moving pieces, and a lot can go wrong. Your national team goalkeeper throughout the 90s, Tony Miola, uh, tried to make the yep. change. Talk about Tony trying to become a field goal kicker. Well, Tony, I think he tried out for the Jets and great for the kickoffs, but not so much for um, for actually kicking a field goal because the, the whole thing is about trajectory. That's Again, that's why I get lucky because I used to have to try and get the ball over the wall and into the goal. So for me, this, when I strike the ball that way, I just don't have to worry about the second part. So getting it over the wall is all I'm really, that first motion. So it's kind of, it's kind of a shot that you, uh, as far as soccer is concerned, that I just don't take that, it takes a little bit out of that second part. Kicking a field goal is, is for me, uh, just kind of letting loose and just letting it fly. But it has to go up. Tony couldn't do that. Tony really had a hard time getting the ball, the trajectory, getting it over the wall. But I'll tell you what, nobody can hit the ball further than that guy. Great, Eric. Thanks so much. My pleasure.